Hey traders, this is Ron Haydat, Market Tamer. Happy Thursday, hope you're doing fantastic. As always, nothing in this presentation shall constitute a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Trading stocks and options involves risk and specific financial issues shall always be addressed with your financial advisor. The SPY finished up 0.37% and the other indexes as well were flat to up. We're still above the 20 day EMA in red, so bulls get the edge. Now Netflix, we talked about last night, stock was down between 40 and 50 bucks. I said, watch, it starts getting below that 320 area. Well, the intraday low once 9.30 came was 3.20.30. So we held that area. This little swing low now is becoming important. We get below 3.20 on a closing basis. That's what opens the door to a technical move all the way down, arguably 90, 100 bucks lower. It's that big of a deal. As of now, we're still bearish on the daily chart, but if we can get back up and close above this 3.35 area, then we're into this big trading range and a gap that would be the target. So daily chart bearish, high wave doji today could go either way going into tomorrow or early next week. We just have to wait and see. We start closing a little higher. Short term could be bullish. We get below 320. It's only like five bucks lower. Very bearish technically. Honeywell was out. They had earnings. And I get questions on this stock from time to time. Well, yesterday, big down move, breaking support today, gap up, closed the highs of the day. But here's the thing. We closed below the red line. That is 20 days worth of data. Bears have the edge on the daily chart here on Honeywell. Despite today's big move, big move on volume, closing at the highs of the day, we did not get above the 20 day. If we get above the 20 day in red, then we could go back up to the previous highs. Otherwise, this is still bearish. And if we get some inside days here, this could be turning into a pennant. And then we just wanna watch to see which way it breaks. ATS, this stock, I mean, just a year ago, it was up at 240. Now we were down at 140 a month ago. Short term here, though, look what happened when it got above the 50-day moving average in orange. It's an amazing line in the sand. We get above it, we start rallying. Now we have earnings today. Target, pretty much a gap fill up towards 180. 22 bucks, almost 20, you know, 15, 18% higher. That's huge. Ion's the stock we talked about just a couple days ago, back on Monday. Consolidation Tuesday, Wednesday. Today, nice pop. A little bit of potential resistance to 75. Otherwise, it is a gap fill. Folks, tomorrow is the last day, the final live event. This Friday, July 19th, tomorrow, noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. I'm going to show you the next top 10 hottest stocks for the summer. We are going to be down, as of this video, to under 50 seats left. We started with 500. Grab it while you can. All you need is five minutes of your time, and I promise you, absolutely promise you, it's going to be worth it. Instead of wondering which stocks are set to soar next, I'll show you based on hard, proven data. For example, just like I showed you last night, here's Expedia. How do we know that June was the month? Because that's when it seasonally becomes a rock star. From the time June turned, we're talking about ballpark 120 all the way up to 136. Pod went the exact opposite direction while the market was selling off in May. Still tacked on another 10 points even after the June rally started. How about Under Armour? I was talking to you guys about this one back in May, again in June, here it is in July. And then Cerner, another one that was seasonally bullish. This thing, April, May, bucked the trend with the market selling off and still tacks on a bunch of points. Then recently, I showed you NASDAQ, NDAQ, Shot up from 97.50, almost up to 105. That was a triple digit return. And then most recently, we just brought in CRM. Magically gets about the 50 day, starts pushing higher. The stocks just keep moving in the direction of their seasonality. So one last time, make sure you register ASAP, either in the email I sent you or at the bottom of this video. Grab one of the final spots. I'll see you there tomorrow at noon. Promise it's going to be worth every single minute of your time. And within the first five minutes, I'll show you the hottest stocks, bullish and bearish, for the weeks ahead. Have a great day and we'll see you there.